Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 13 of Doki Doki Literature Club. So, a lot of stuff happened in my last session. I had to take a little bit of a break because I was just like, oh my god. So, now I'm back, and now I'm ready to do some more. I think that I am going to skip through everything that we've already seen. Uh, hopefully, if it lets me... I think it's going to let me skip through Natsuki and Monica's poems, so let's go ahead and do that. Or not. I don't know how this works. Okay. Can I not skip? Let's see then, I guess. Uh, let's click on Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Can I really not skip through these? Why? <laughs> hmm? Katie, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put it- I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about. Mm, fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I feel this on a deep, emotional level. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't take even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on the purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I- what that- uh, I can't read today, guys. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, so I guess we gotta do Monica now. Hopefully she doesn't jump through the screen and scare me this time. Jesus, I'm still not over that. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? No, I'm, I'm good. It's, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Oh, don't worry, Katie. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Katie. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expect expectations low. Me, honestly. All the time. 
That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I do, that's why I wrote it like that. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really be she must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for time for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Am I gonna get to read Monica's book? I don't remember. <laughs> Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose you should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Sure, Monica. It probably won't scare me at all. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then, and hope it doesn't gouge out my eyes. Okay. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's night there. He's right there, swallowing my fears. I brandish my pen. Okay. Okay. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Oh, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day! Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. You're fine, Monica. Alright, Yuri. Let's go for Yuri. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Hi. He's going to hate me. <laughs> um. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of writing experience do you have? Your sense of imagery, your, your sense, your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Well, I mean, I did play this game all the way through, and then I had to do it again, so <laughs> here we go. Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? 
Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both style, both, both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Matsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. She's so cute. Look at her face. <sighs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly, as if there's a rare moment that that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh yeah, she's got the freaking... <sighs> Ghosts under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Flickering back, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. It, you know what? It's fine. I can read it just fine. I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Yeah, it did, because I'm stupid. <laughs> and I can't read words. <laughs> well, I just don't read script very well. Honestly, I think I wrote this line because I really don't. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Siri? I'm super into ghosts. If you didn't know that about me, I am super into ghosts. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Katie. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps, the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... No, no, honey, no. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Huh. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Katie. Ah. Me too. Cool. <laughs> that's over. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. 
Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Well, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the, <laughs> the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Katie did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Hmm? And Katie liked my poem too, you know? She even told me she was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Katie appreciates my advice more than she appreciated yours. And how do you know she didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No? If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> what is this argument? <laughs> Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as they started showing up. I have that power. <laughs> Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking your own insecurities out on others like that? You really act as young as you look... Excuse me, what is happening? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Who's talking? You want to be itchy, bitch? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Edgy? Sorry, that's my life. <laughs> my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. What is happening? See? Just saying that proves my point. I'm scared. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. That's, that's not true. That is not true. There are plenty of people that I know that would prove that wrong. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? <gasps> That's not funny. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? <laughs> what is going on? I hate this. Well, I can't hear everything you really think. I'm sure she'll be at over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Maybe she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh, it's starting again. I don't know. Oh. I like Yuri. Please click the button. I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. 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 Please just click the button. Oh god, it's disappearing. Oh my god. Hi, Monica. Hi. What would you like today, Monica? Can I click this button? Um, hey Katie. 
Why don't we step outside for a little bit? I'd like that, Monica, but if you could stop standing in front of the text box, that would be really neat. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> they really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand me, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She's crying. She's so crying. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Matsuki. Or did. Katie, please don't hate me. Please. <laughs> please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. There's something wrong with everybody today. I'm having a moment. It's fine, Yuri. <laughs> we know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Okay. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Monica scares me. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. It, it's not like that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Katie. <laughs> it would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really- Okay. Uh, <laughs> what the heck is going on? I'm having a mental breakdown. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there and I will pick up with whatever the heck I'm supposed to do now in the uh, next video. <laughs> So I will see you all then. Bye. <laughs>